Hey everyone, and welcome to another video on my Building Message Driven Systems playlist. We're looking again today at Azure Service Bus, and we're going to look at how can we manage our queues, our topics, and our subscriptions uh, using C Sharp. So we're going to be able to create them, update them, delete them uh, using just code. So I'm going to jump over to Visual Studio, and we're going to get started. Okay, so here we are in Visual Studio, and we've got the same basic code that we started with before. Uh, we're taking out a whole bunch of it, but there's really just uh, a few different variables. Our connection string for service bus, uh, our queue name that we want to make, a topic that we want to make, a subscription that we want to make. Uh, and so the first thing I'll point out is that we've imported an extra namespace at the top, Microsoft.Azure.ServiceBus.Management. It's in the same uh, NuGet package, um, Microsoft Azure Service Bus. I'm using uh, 5.1.2 in this uh, example, which is the current latest. Um, and so what we're going to get from there is a management client. So like we've seen in kind of standard service bus naming convention, it's a management client in order to do management. Uh, so we're going to make one of those. And what that takes in is our connection string. We can also pass it connection string builder uh, and, and, and an endpoint and a topic, uh, sorry, a token provider as well. But we're just going to use our connection string. That's got everything we need. It's got our token in it already. Uh, and so our management client has bunch of different methods on here. So there's some create methods, queue, rules, subscriptions, and topics. We've got some delete methods for those. We've got get methods for each of those, so we can go get the stuff that exists on Service Bus right now. And there's a get single, get multiple. So there's get queue, get queues, get rule, get rules, uh, and topics and subscriptions too. And then there is uh, some update ones as well. And a couple of methods to check whether things exist. Does queue exists async, subscription exists async, etc. So what we're going to do today is we're going to create a new queue. So I want to uh, create queue async. Um, and there's one that takes a queue description. And there's another that takes a queue path. It's just a string. So that's what we're going to use now because we've got our queue name. But that actually returns us uh, a task because it's async, but a task of queue description. Uh, so we're going to capture that as well. So we're going to say our queue uh, description. I'll await that. And so this, what is a queue description? So the queue description has a whole bunch of different properties on there that describe the queue. So there's obviously its path, uh, which is you know its name, the queue name that we're using, but all the properties like whether it should auto delete if it's on idle, the authorization rules, um, some stuff on here that we've talked about before, uh, the lock duration and the max delivery count, stuff like that, we can set those on here. So let's let's have a go at setting those. Uh, we'll set the lock duration to five seconds. It's a time span, so I'm calling time span from seconds five. So I get a time span five seconds long. Uh, and then I'll also uh, set the max delivery count. That's just a number, so we'll set that to five. And then that actually will enable us um, to call management client update queue. And when you want to update the queue, you need to pass in that queue description. So we'll pass our queue description back in and it actually returns a queue description again. So we're going to make sure that we capture the return variable with the updated queue description. So let me uh, let me break point that point of the method and then we'll just run that and see what happens on service bus when we do. So I've got service bus uh, explorer open in, uh, wait, that's on topics, this is on queues. Oh, I've left the queue uh, in there already, actually. Let me just jump in here and delete this from Service Bus and make sure it's definitely there. Okay, so I've got the Service Bus Explorer open now. Uh, we're looking at the list of queues in the portal and we're about to hit our uh, create queue async method. So we'll run that one method, we waited for it. And so that's created our queue and we'll jump in and take a look. So that's got our default max delivery count, which is 10. Our default message lock duration, which is one minute. Uh, and so we're going to update those things on our uh, queue description. You can see these values here are provided by uh, Code Rush, which I'm trialing at the minute. Um, and then we're going to pass back our queue description in the update queue async. So we can see right now it's 10 and one minute. And then I'm going to call that method. That's going to return. I hit refresh and the 10 and the one minute have changed to uh, max delivery count of five, message lock duration of five. Fantastic. Uh, so just bring it back to the create queue client async. We did actually uh, have an node like that which took a queue description. So what we could do is instead of having our 
um, instead of updating our queue, we can create a, a new queue description from the beginning that takes in the queue name as the uh, uh, as the constructor argument. And then rather than creating a new queue on service bus, having that kind of that work and you do that round trip and then change some properties on the description and then update it, we can actually make the queue description to begin with, set the variables that we want to set. And then instead of calling update, uh, we can just call, we can just call create queue async. Uh, and so then we create it with the values that we want straight away. Um, and this is the easiest way to get that kind of queue to uh, how we want it. So right now we've got the challenge. If I run this program again, it's going to throw an error because I've actually got, uh, I've got the queue existing already. All right, I've already got my, my new queue. So what we need to do just up here is we can say if uh, management client queue exists with that queue name, um, then we can say management client delete queue and pass in the queue name. Uh, both of these only take the queue name in, they don't take the full queue description. Uh, we just need to await them because they're async. And so now if the queue exists, we're going to delete it. Uh, and then we're going to make our queue description with the setup that we want. And then we're going to create the queue. Uh, so I'm going to put the breakpoint on that part here and we'll run our program again. So there's our program starting to run. Uh, if our queue exists, that's what happens. It does. So we know it does because we ran our program last time and we created it in service bus. Uh, so we'll delete our queue. That works, refresh it instantly. Uh, and then we can make our queue description, set our values that we want, and we can call create, and that will immediately create our queue uh, with the values that we're looking for. So we'll jump in here and see that it's five and five straight away. So that's the most efficient way of creating the queues how we want them. And so now we've seen how we can create a queue, how we can um, update a queue, and then we can, we've also got here that we can check if a queue exists and we can delete the queue. So what we're going to quickly do here is we're going to come down and say, instead of doing those things, we want to make a topic description. So the same as there's a queue description, there's a topic description. Same as queue description takes a topic name. Uh, however, the, uh, the topic description class has quite a few less properties on here. Because remember, we only send to topics, we don't receive them. So there's no properties that control uh, the receiving of messages. There's stuff in here like the default message time to live. But there's nothing in here about dead lettering or the max delivery count or lock timeouts because all of that is on the receiving side. Uh, so now we've got our topic description. We won't bother changing anything on that right now. We can say management client dot create topic async. Uh, we'll pass in the topic description. I'll await that. Uh, and now you probably guess what's coming next. We can make a subscription description, more challenging to say. And that takes in a topic name and a subscription name, because remember subscriptions are part of topics. So we have to know which, uh, which topic it's on. And then on the subscription description, we have stuff like uh, the max delivery count, which we could set to six in this instance. Uh, and the message time to live, stuff like that. Uh, sorry, not the message time to live, the lock, uh, the lock time, lock duration. And we can set that to oh, equals time span dot from seconds. And we'll do that to six as well. Uh, and then we can say management client dot create subscription and pass in that subscription description. Uh, we will wait that because that's async as well. So now we've got a program that should create a topic and then create a subscription underneath that topic with a max delivery count of six and a lock duration of six. And I'm just going to run that straight through. We'll jump over to service bus. Uh, we'll see that the topics has that my new topic in there. We see on subscriptions, it has my new subscription. The max delivery count is six, right? So, so that worked perfect. That's exactly how we wanted that to be. Um, sometimes you uh, you don't necessarily want to create um, topics or subscriptions. They may already sort of exist. 
Uh, at which point we can say uh, topics equals, we can just ask to get them. So we can say get topic. So we're gonna say get topic and provide the topic name. And then that will just give us our topic description, um, at which point we can, uh, I didn't await that. The topics is a topic description. So we can get one of a topic that does exist. Uh, we don't actually have to create it to get it. We can just go and get one. Uh, or we could be a bit more generic up here and say get topics async. And that would give us then a list of topics. Um, so this is a regular list. And so then that would be a list of all the topics that exist. Uh, and so what we could do there is a for each topic in, oh, for each var top. Let me get typing better. Uh, for each var topic in topics. So for each of the topics that we found, console.writeline topic.path. Right, so we'll just get the name of all the topics that exist. Uh, so if we run that, we should get the topic that we created just a minute ago. It should write that out. My new topic, perfect. So that's effectively what we can do with, uh, with the management client. We can make our queues, our topics, our subscriptions. We can edit them, we can delete them. Uh, we can, and we can also go and get lists of them to find out what exists on the service bus. And as I kind of promised in some of my previous videos, uh, I have this method at the top of uh, all the previous demos called clear subscription. Um, and so the, the kind of the, the thing I'm doing for that, I, I promise I would explain kind of how that works. Uh, so I basically have this task, uh, clear subscription. So I had a method that was effectively like this. Um, all that was doing was using the management client. So I did a, a kind of similar thing up here. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll just implement this in the main body. Um, is I would say management client dot get subscription async, uh, and I would pass in that topic name. Oh, not a string of topic name subscription name, and that would get me um, the subscription description. And then I did management client delete subscription async with that topic name, uh, subscription name, and then management client create subscription async. And I pass in that same description. So basically, um, and all these have to be awaited. So this is my little cheat just to reset our demo each time. Uh, I get all the information about the subscription. So whatever we set it to, whatever our, our max delivery count was or our, our, locked, our lock length, um, all that kind of stuff, get that out as a description. So I've got an exact description about how the, the subscription should operate, exact description of the subscription. Uh, and then I have service bus to kill the subscription that's there already. So that kill it with all of its active messages, all of its dead letter messages, uh, and then they just create one with the same name, the same setup entirely, that same description. Uh, so it looks like it's the same description, but actually in all those previous videos, whenever we ran them, we we're actually destroying the subscription and creating a new one that looked exactly the same. That's why it was empty every time. So it's a, just a nice technique for when you are testing uh, to be able to make sure that you start from this kind of fresh state is you can grab the, the description uh, of a topic or of a subscription, um, blow them away and then add new ones uh, back that look exactly the same. And then the last thing I'll just point out, we uh, you might have noticed it in the list before, um, there is also a way to get namespace info, namespace info uh, from our management client. And this is just information about the service bus namespace that you're, uh, that you, you're connecting to. Um, so it's, it's some basic information that you'd see in the in the summary page for the um, for the namespace, but it's got stuff in there like the messaging skew, whether it's basic or standard or premium, um, and they obviously mean different things. I, I think maybe it's basic that doesn't have topics in the description. It's only for queues, uh, and so you can go and look at whether uh, whether the service bus is going to support what you need from it, um, figure out when it was created, uh, all that kind of stuff. So just some very basic information about the namespace as well, uh, just so you can describe the service bus you're pointing at. Uh, so that's it in summary. Um, we create a management client and give it our connection string to service bus, and then we're able, we're able to uh, 
see whether something exists, we're able to delete things, uh, we're able to create them exactly how we want to, creating our descriptions, whether it's queue or topic or subscription description, uh, set the properties we want, and then we can call the create method, uh, create queue, create topic, create subscription. Uh, and then we've also got these kind of uh, useful methods for uh, finding out whether stuff it exists on there. So uh, get topic or get topics, get subscription or get subscriptions. Um, and then you can so you can go get the list of, of what already exists uh, on the service bus for you. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Uh, if you did, please like the video. Feel free to drop me a comment uh, below tell me what you liked. Uh, if you want to be kind, tell me what you don't like um, and I'll look to improve. Uh, but subscribe to the channel, hit me up for post notifications uh, and you'll find out when I make more videos. We've got more coming down the line, more topics on service bus uh, and then expanding out to kind of Azure event hubs and maybe some Kafka on Azure as well. Uh, in the interim, you can always hit me up on social media. My Twitter and LinkedIn handle are there. So uh, hopefully you liked the video. Hopefully you'll join me next time. I'll see you then. Thanks.